then like researching her story our stories are very similar spicy oh my god it's spicy mm. Oh. <laughs> mm. ah. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Hey, it's Diamond and Lace and we are back with another YouTube video. So today we're going to be doing a mukbang slash Q&A. Just let y'all know a little more about us. us. Just what our channel is about to be about and break the ice yeah. basically. Yeah, so we went on our social medias and asked y'all what y'all would like to know about us and our channel. And we're just gonna be answering a few of those questions. Some really good questions that I'm really excited to answer them because we've been really busy these past few weeks. Yeah. So, but Diamond picked this restaurant, yeah. so she's going to get into what we got on the menu today. Okay, so this restaurant is in Houston. It's it looks very family owned. It's a vibe in there, but um, it's called Bidias and Micheladas. Today we got sopecitos. Mm. We got some birria tacos, some chips, some pozole, some birria ramen, the consume for the tacos, and then of course some we had to add fries. some french fries. And we also got um, a, mangonada, a mangonada and then two lemonades. Like Diamond said guys, the restaurant is a vibe. Like literally, I haven't even ate there. Like we haven't tried any of this food yet, but I would go back in there just for the vibe. Like the art is crazy. Like they have, they hand painted everything and it just looks really cool in there. So we're gonna link them down below for you guys to go and try. And if you do try it, tag us in your pictures. Let us know what you got so that we know what to get next time. Yeah. All right, so I guess we can just get we into can, we're it. Gonna dig in and answer those questions. I'll start opening everything up and Lacey will find the first question. That yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna pull out the questions. <laughs> All right, so the first question we got was, what made you want to make a YouTube? And I think that was probably one of my favorite questions out of all of them because I think our story of why we decided to make a channel is, it's kind of crazy if you think yeah. about it because me and Diamond, we've known each other for like what, six years, seven years? Probably more, probably like nine years. I feel like I've known her my whole life. Um, and we like used to, yeah, like eight years. And we used to pretend that to be making, you, yeah, we used to pretend like <laughs> we would just be on Snapchat going to like, we went to Kroger's one day. And if I find the video, I will put the clip up. Hey guys, it's Simon and Lace. <laughs> and we're back with another video. Um. <laughs> We're just leaving Kroger's right now. We had to get a rain check because we're out here making money. So we had to. And that was just like our first little thing. But throughout the quarantine, we just found out like a lot about ourselves and like what we are truly interested in because me and Diamond are both workaholics. We dedicate ourselves to work. And yeah. But basically, we've always wanted to do it, but we never had a gist of what actually like our channel is going to consist of. So now we kind of got that. Not really, but we know part of like what yeah. we really want in the channel and what we want our audience to be, which is really everyone. Everyone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we want to appeal to spiritual people because one thing you guys are going to find out um, me and diamond are very spiritual we're very um open to anything and everything about the universe and where we came from and you know just being in touch with ourselves and earth you know and we also want to appeal to kids we want to like we just want every like to just let everybody know like you can do whatever you want to do yeah whatever you put and your mind to just try it yeah, and also this is, like, you know, this channel is going to be very open to whatever, you know, we don't, we don't judge anybody for what y'all believe in, what you're into, you know, because who are we to judge you? This is your journey, this is your experience, and yeah. <laughs> so, really just, we woke up one day and decided to start a YouTube channel, and we decided to do it, you know, and... I just want, I want our channel to inspire other people to just do whatever's on your mind. If you mm -hmm. 
went to college for real estate and you woke up one day and you're like, damn, I really want to rap, do it. You know, like mm -hmm. the amount of opportunities and it's just limitless. You know, yeah. you can just do whatever you want to do. All right, so let's see. Right here. Actually, guys, let me take a little bite. Let's get into this let's video. Let's yeah. try these tacos. I've never tried this. Me this is either. my first time. Oh, God, okay. Woo! Let me get a little dip. A little dip. I heard the crunch. I heard the crunch. Let's go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's fire. That's fire. Damn. I don't like to talk <laughs> while I eat. <laughs> so, doing a mukbang. It's really different for me. <laughs> okay. Next question. Mm -hmm. okay. How old are y'all? I'm 24. I'm 21. Okay. And we have the same birthdays. So. Oh yeah, so both of our birthdays are January 27th. We're Aquariuses. Yes. Uh, what's your your big three, your top three? Oh, my big three is Aquarius Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Cancer Rising. Okay, I'm an Aquarius Sun, a Virgo Moon, and a Capricorn Rising. Try this. What is that? Pozole? Pozole. See, the only Pozole I like is Diamond's Mom's. Shout out to Crystal. But wait, okay. I like the new one. <laughs> I'm sorry, Crystal. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, speaking of Crystal, gotta put her in there. She did ask us a question. Crystal, aka blessed with the best. <laughs> okay, she said, "Who do you look up to?" Um, that's a good question. That, that's a very good question. <laughs> I think I really look up to. Man, I don't know. I I look up to different people for different reasons. Yeah, like yeah. I do look up to my mom because she's a very strong woman and mm -hmm. she's been through a lot and she's always kept her head up, you know, like, mm -hmm. and she's always remained like a really nice person because some people go through things and they get like mean, you know? Yeah, they get but cold. My mom's, you know my mom, she's never yeah, she's like. Very unconditional love, like, mm -hmm. and I tell her that all the time that like, I strive to have as much unconditional love as Crystal because like, she, she really is just like a really loving person. So and the people that like, you know, like somebody could do something to her that really hurt her feelings and she won't hold a grudge against nobody. Yeah, I look up to her for that reason also. Um, it's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I look up to other like, YouTubers or influencers, celebrities like, like Demi Lovato. <laughs> We love us some Demi. Um, um, so, I mean, that's a really hard question. Yeah, it's a good question. A lot of people, so like, I look up to and a lot of people inspire me. A lot of, like, influencers and celebrities, I really give props to them because they go through a lot also. Mm -hmm. And, like, that's, that's one of the reasons we kind of hesitated to start YouTube because we would see that, but, like, we know, like, now, now knowing what we know, we know like people are gonna talk regardless. Yeah. People are gonna. Some people are not gonna agree with what you have to say. Some people are gonna think you're boring. Somebody, but somebody else is gonna think you're a great YouTuber. Somebody else is gonna think you're so pretty. Somebody else, you know, mm -hmm. like so. It's really. Yeah, I think I look up to, like Diamond said, a lot of people for multiple reasons, but. Um, my favorite music artist is Kehlani and when I started listening to her music and then like researching her story, our stories are very similar. Spicy. Oh my god. It's spicy? Mm. <laughs> you got caught in action. Oh, oh, I don't want to try it. I'm not going to try it. You want me to try it? Bro, I, you have have, to. I have the worst spice tolerance though. You know this. You have to. Oh shit. Let's go. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm really trying not to get this white shirt dirty because I have a bad habit she of will. that. Mm, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it busting Janelle? 
It's really good, huh, Janelle? Is that busting, Janelle? But, like I was saying, um, I'm gonna dip back into. You tried the green one? Uh -huh. No, I haven't tried it yet. Um, but like I said, like after finding out her story and like our stories are really similar, and she didn't let what she went through. Sorry. Kind of. <laughs> now nah, you're good. She didn't let what she went through dictate her future. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people they go through like these hard times, and like you said, they either turn cold or they become like a product of their environment, and. You know, like I look up to that. Like I, I respect that, and yeah, like, I, I relate to that. I also look up to Kaylani too. We both like Kaylani, and we both like Janae. Mhm. Mm what you got on? Got the Janae on. Well, yeah. Yeah. So it could be anybody for any situation. Like I look. If up, one of y'all do something that inspires me, I'll probably look up to y'all for real. And it doesn't matter on your age. It doesn't, nobody has to be older yeah. than me so that I can look up to them. Yeah. Like, and I think influencer wise, I really look up to the Ace family and their work ethic, like how they came up really quick. Um, we don't do, we don't bash the Ace family here. Yeah, so we just wanted to let y'all know that. We are Ace family stands. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So somebody asked, um, what spiraled you, spiraled you slash start made y'all begin your spiritual journey kind of worded a little weird but like what triggered our spiritual journey basically so it's crazy because sorry me, How you, you good? me and Lacey kind of started Fuck. our journey i'm gonna be real with y'all i'm really trying not to get this white shirt dirty because i have a bad hat she left Um, me and Lacey kind of started our journey in the same years, mm -hmm. so 2016, 2017, between that, because like I came up, up, I like came across it in 2016, but I really didn't dig into it until 2017. I think same for you. Mm -hmm. Man, that sauce is hot. I think what triggered me or spiraled me into it was a breakup. Like, to be 100% honest, um, I was going through it, realistically. Um, went through, like, one of the most traumatic heartbreaks of my teenage years, and I felt so, really alone. The same time. Yeah, I felt really alone, and I needed something to, like, I guess believe in. Mm -hmm. Something to, like, make me feel good, you know what I mean? And I read The Alchemist, and I read The Four Agreements, and I was like, hold up, like... I don't know, it just, that's what, that's what spiraled me into my spirituality. Yeah. So mine, it started with the law of attraction. I came across um, a documentary on YouTube named The Secret. So it's on Netflix. It, it's also a book, so y'all should go check it out. Yeah, and it's, I think it's still on Netflix, I'm not sure. But yeah, so I, I don't know what just brought me into like, you know what, I'm gonna check out this two hour documentary and just sit here on my phone and watch it but i did and i like it pulled me in and i was like man like coming true so i was like oh shit and then i was already listening to kaylani janae and big sean and all and they all people, talk about it and they all were spiritual and they all talked about law of attraction and meditating and all this other stuff so with me and and then yeah so, but anyways <laughs> uh yeah so that happened and then i was just in it so the lemonade you, is so good yeah it is it's so good you want to switch what oh pozole that ramen fire i need fire. a fork i know oh also another thing that kind of brought me deeper into my spirituality because I feel like me and Diamond both remained like really surface level for a solid like two or three years not really and when I say surface level I mean like not doing the work to get to know yourself yeah, like meditation. shadow work and meditation right and I think what really brought us deeper in was me breaking my leg and me losing my job yeah and her losing her job because all of this stuff hit us like back to back like 
like a domino effect of like things. literally i lost my job she got um laid off kind of laid off well, retained. Like they, yeah yeah and then right after that i broke when she leg. was supposed to go back to work yeah she broke her leg yeah and like and then i was the only one like really available to take care of her so we're both at home we're both i mean we didn't have nothing else to do but to do some shadow work meditate or like just really find out what we wanted to do or just listen to our thoughts because we were always moving doing something yeah we're always doing something if we weren't you know at work me and diamond were probably throwing a party going out you know doing something we're like just very busy people and I think us both losing our jobs and me breaking my leg really just slowed us down to like to really have that time with ourselves mm -hmm. too. Yeah, and I, I and honestly, like I'm really thankful that I broke my leg because somebody did ask me about that. Somebody said, "Are you still limping and pimping?" Uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I definitely am. Um, my leg is way better than what it was, but I'm still in recovery. It's gonna take a while to get back to 100%, but I am very grateful for the fact that it happened because I would have probably stayed at a job that I didn't really enjoy. I probably would have. Draining her. Yeah, it was very draining. Um, I just feel like I would have settled for just being a manager at a restaurant you know what i mean like and that wasn't her dream and that wasn't my dream that wasn't meant for my journey you know what i mean and speaking of that somebody asked where do we see ourselves in five years and where do we see ourselves in 10 years how do so, i hold on i'm gonna get into this nada yeah but y'all i love me some mango nadas i love me some i need like nadas. a big straw or something but they didn't give us one so uh-oh uh-oh uh oh, see it's filled. Let me show y'all that. Y'all see that? Ooh, don't spill it. Don't spill it. Not don't spill it. Don't spill it. <laughs> but mm. oh, oh, so in like five good. years, I see ourselves traveling, traveling a lot more. We want to travel a lot. Like, mm -hmm. but both of these spot, these sauces are spicy. Yeah, we want to experience the whole world. Um. We want to Buy open some businesses, mm -hmm. so stay tuned for that, you know, subscribe, like, comment, share, subscribe, <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, um, we see ourselves, like, really doing well on YouTube, we want to, like, take YouTube really serious, because, like we said, we've always wanted to do YouTube, even before we wanted to do it together, we wanted to do it by ourselves, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> and, so. and it's kind of crazy, also, like, the universe works in like really mysterious ways guys because when i tell you we had everything we needed to start a channel when we decided to we we're like i think we we're just chilling in diamond's room one day because when my leg was broke i spent a lot of time in diamond's room because my bed is really low but that's you know my <laughs> business no <laughs> but anyways um we're we just we're sitting down one day and we're like yeah you know like we really should do it and we started thinking about all the things that we had already because we were kind of trying to plan what we needed to be successful and we had everything i think the only thing we bought was like a vlog camera like we already had right like we had almost everything like we had our editing software already we had you know like ring light. yeah the ring light this camera that we're recording on now and it's kind of crazy that everything just kind of like was there for us you know like all we had to do was do it you know and that's why we really kind of let people to do whatever comes to their mind because chances are that's really aligned with like your purpose yeah you know i know yeah like maybe later on like we'll we won't want to do youtube and want to do something else but right now we know that we want to and we know that it's for us and it's going to lead us somewhere so that's what we're doing yeah definitely and in 10 years i see myself probably having like a kid or something i don't know adopting a kid i really want a child you know but then again i don't know because i really want to travel and i don't <laughs> want to like have like another human to be responsible for you know what i mean i, I don't know but 10 years is a long time so i don't know but time will tell time i know will tell. yeah but i do see myself like 
having multiple businesses like diamond said um YouTube. investing yes, invest. still doing youtube because i feel like we're really gonna enjoy it you know um uh, and just having fun living in my purpose yeah happy um, uh, so yeah me in 10 years uh probably running my business because i have a really big dream I can't tell y'all right now because I gotta make it happen first. It's but too fresh. <laughs> it's too fresh. Yeah. Um. So doing that, um, being more enlightened than I am now, like, you know, that's really just goal. finding like, ourselves, learn about this mission we're on, and spread love. That's the main thing. Like, this world needs to do. <laughs> We're here to spread unconditional love. If everybody spread it, spread unconditional love, <laughs> then the world will spread. be a better place. And that's on that. You. Okay, next. Did you try these sopipitas? Mm mm. I haven't. Or sopecitos. <laughs> what will we. Or, okay, so the next question is what will your channel consist of? My bad guys, the camera stopped recording so we had to reset it back up but we're gonna start back off um, with what will your channel consist of? So our channel will consist of pretty much everything. Our main goal is to show you that spiritual people like us, spiritualists, can have fun because a lot of people think that they just meditate all day and read and yeah but no. We do a lot of fun things. We do a lot of spiritual things, but we and also do a lot of fun things. Yeah, we do a lot of, <laughs> a little bit of both. And there's just no limit on spirituality. And I just want to share that with anybody and everybody. Cause I feel like a lot of people are probably interested in being spiritual, but they feel like they have to be vegan and hug trees all day. And you know, like it's, it's, not it's like literally, yeah, it's nothing like you think of it. And we're learning that now. Because I feel like at one point I kind of thought the same thing. So that's why I want to tell you that it's not real, yeah. you know? And also, um, just to spread, spread some love, you know? Love, light, positivity. Yeah. Some video. But yeah, um, if y'all, we'll do a lot of fun things like pranks, challenges, uh, mukbangs, Q&As, all that stuff, hauls. Vlogs. We like all that. Vlogs. Yeah. A lot vlogs. of vlogs. A lot of vlogs. <clears throat> but um, also, if y'all want to know about the spiritual side, ask some questions and then that'll give us more um, content. Content. Spiritual content to create. So, yeah. So, a little bit of everything. Mm hmm. So, somebody asks, what big plans do y'all have in store? Like what's like? I guess let's just do one big thing that one, just one. Yeah, because like, I have a lot. I know, <laughs> but we'll just do one because some of the things we kind of want to keep to ourselves until they manifest into reality. Yeah. Um. I think something big that I really want to do is start a candle company. That's something that's like really been on my mind lately. So y'all stay tuned. Something big, soon. something big I want to do is buy a house. Mm. Yeah. Somebody asked who's our favorite artist. We kind of already said that one. Janae. Kilani. Kilani. That's my favorite person, y'all. Okay, so somebody asked Janae if you're watching. Oh, okay. This is a really good one. Somebody said, tell us more about the name, the Vibe Tribe, and the meaning behind it. That was a good one. That was a good the one. one. Uh, <laughs> so, the Vibe Tribe, I think we were just thinking of names, and like, we would always be like, it's a vibe, all this stuff, like, mm -hmm. you're a vibe, I'm yeah. a vibe, you know? And... And it's kind of crazy because some of me and Diamond's best ideas happen in my car. Like we're just driving and it'll just come to us. And one day we were driving. Um, and what were we doing? I don't know, but I just remember we're driving 
Oh, we were thinking about a YouTube name. We really like we're, like that was the intention was that we set ago. Like, keep in mind the vibe tribe has been in our heads for about three years, years now. Yeah, like literally, like it's been a thing. Like this has been a thing. So don't think this is brand new. Mm -hmm. I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. Okay. Something. We're just saying things, brainstorming, like brainstorming. The vibe gang, the vibe squad, the vibe something. Yeah. But and, then, <laughs> and then the vibe tribe just happened. Yeah. We're like, what? Mm, what rhymes with vibe? And then I googled it. I remember googling it. Yeah. I googled it. I got on on Rhyme Zone, and I was just like looking. I was like, oh, tribe, vibe tribe, and, and it just stuck. And we've been calling ourselves that for about three years now. And now you guys are invited to join the squad. The meaning behind it is just like, your vibe attracts your tribe. So, we learned that recently. Yeah, your vibe does attract your tribe. And what we mean by that is just like whatever vibration you're on, like if there's a scale of vibrations and fear is being the lowest one and love being the highest. If you're ranging up here that's and you're you're trying. showing love to people and happiness and you're and that's what's coming from your body and your aura, you're gonna attract those types of people. Mm -hmm. Me and Diamond are the same exact person. Yeah. Damn near. <laughs> like and it's crazy because at our lowest point was when we found each other, right? Because your vibe attraction is tribe. So I was vibrating pretty low. We were yeah. sad. And keep in mind, uh, like at that point when we both became spiritualists and getting into this higher vibration, we also not only attracted ourselves to become best friends, but we attracted other people around us. Like that were the same going that were going through the stuff. same thing at the same time. Yeah. So like it's pretty good to know that you're not alone on this journey yeah and so yeah like you're saying and if you're vibrating down here then it's okay you're gonna have your little family that's also vibrating down there not your literal family but whatever people that are going through what you're, you're going, going through, through or feeling what you're feeling yeah you're gonna but have that's those perfectly people. fine and it's an experience it is. yeah it's an experience and we don't judge you All right. <laughs> okay, so um, what are our favorite things to do? Mm. I think right now my favorite thing to do is editing. Oh yeah, I she, really, I don't know how to edit it. Guys. I really enjoy editing our videos. So when y'all see her, sorry, I keep interrupting. No, you're good. But when you see the videos, it's her editing. But <laughs> I give, I give her inspiration. inspiration on what to put in there too. She just does all the technological stuff. Yeah, I really enjoy it because it requires like a lot of research and I'm really into researching things. Um, and watching oh, yeah. TikTok. Girl, she on that TikTok all day. Y'all follow me, Cozy Lace Tarot and The Cozy Lace. I have two different TikTok accounts. You feel me? One me. is for tarot, the other one is for whatever I want to put on there. And mine is Diamond Aiko, A-I-K-O underscore. So follow Yeah, what do you like to do? Oh, my favorite thing to do is I like right now I'm really into watching Gaia, which is y'all yeah, should go watch that. This is not um, a sponsorship. This is not sponsored, but Gaia, if you want to sponsor this video, no. But um, yeah, I like to watch Gaia. It's basically a net a Netflix for the spirituals, you know. And I learn a lot of stuff. I learn a lot and that's what I like to do I like to learn about myself other people the universe and that's just what I like to do the mango on top of that slaps I took a mango off of there and I was fire okay so another question we got was what was a turning point in your life um for me it was probably breaking my leg that was probably one of the most biggest traumatic experiences that I've went through because I stayed in the hospital for two weeks I got the first surgery I've ever gotten in my life like it was just like it was really different you know and and plus it was in the middle of the pandemic so it was like I was really alone uh, and I've never been just like that type of alone you know what I mean yeah. where like you're just there and no one's around you like I can't call diamond to come through I can't call my family like I could stay on the phone with them but just like not having 
physical presence yeah. was yeah. really different for me. She would call me crying all the time. Like, yeah. I just want to go home. Yeah, it was really different. And I think that was a, tor- eh, a turning it's point funny. for me because it kind of made me take into perspective that, you know, like, life is really short to be wasting your time somewhere where you're not happy. It's really short to be doing things that don't make you happy because it could have been me losing my leg you know what i mean and it could have been me she didn't have that time that time before to do the things she wanted yeah so now, like, yeah mm. and it could have been me falling down and, and hitting my head on the concrete like you know like it could have been something so different than what it was and it really made me take into perspective that like i need to start doing the things i love because you never know what's gonna happen so that was a turning point for me um a turning point for me was probably when like not in the beginning of my spiritual journey but when i started digging a little bit deeper so which is when i graduated and that was in 2017 no hard feelings to like the people that i used to be friends with but like i know at that time like i was because at that time i was probably vibrating on the same level you know with like gossiping getting into fights and all this stuff like worrying about what somebody has to say about me but when i started digging deeper into my spirituality a lot of that like flew out the window i started losing friends left to right i went through a bad bad breakup um and i'm so grateful for every single one of those people and every single and every experience i had experienced because I mean, I wouldn't have learned what I learned now, you know, and um, yeah, during those two years, I would say, I learned a lot, a lot, and I grew as a person, and I would say that I'm like a much better person than I was because I wasn't the best person, you know, I, and, I knew, and I know that now, mm-hmm. but I know like where I'm at now, I'm a very good person, Okay, and I'm thankful for that. All right, so now we're going to get into, like, the questions that are kind of just, like, not really so much about our channel and what inspired it. It's just kind of, like, little random questions. Um, We got book recommendations. I know what Diamond's going to say. I have a lot, though. Yeah? Yeah. So I have... Top three. Okay, so there's one I'm reading now, and it's... I would read this, like, if you're... um, If you have some, like loved ones that passed away and you want to try to like connect with them um i'll read this one named signs we'll put a picture here yeah signs <laughs> uh i forgot who was it by sorry but uh, yeah signs um any one of don miguel ruiz's books so mm-hmm. the four agreements is literally the book that changed my life <laughs> mine too mine too that <laughs> literally the changed my life so the four agreements um i think those are my top two Mm -hmm. right now like that i have in mind yours um for me um the seven spiritual laws of success i just finished reading it probably a month ago and changed me like writ like for real it really did change me that means looking back at my bookshelf because we have a jit load of books we have a bunch of books back there um so definitely the seven spiritual laws of success the alchemist was like my first intro to spirituality that That one's kind of like a folk tale it's kind of like a story more so than like a guide yeah yeah yeah. and um i don't know i just related to it a lot and um what's another like good book that i read Probably The Awakened Psychic It's what I'm reading right now. Uh, if you're already kind of dabbling into spirituality and you want to get into your powers as a spiritualist or find out, you know... If you even have any. If you even have any powers. And by powers, we're talking about like mediumship, uh, psychic, you know, clairvoyance, you know, different things like that. Even if you're an empath, that book is like a great guide to learn how to kind of cope with the world yeah (laughs) cope with the world and how to protect yourself spiritually um so those are my top three okay we also got those are all good ones yeah 
We also got um, Fave Oracle deck. Ooh. So just to let you guys know, me and Diamond are very into tarot and oracle and all those different types of mediums to connect with spirit and our guides and stuff um right now my right. favorite one is uh the light workers oracle oh my god and we'll put it up there too so you guys can see but oh my god it is such a beautiful deck and i resonate with it really well and the artwork is beautiful and it's a good one right yeah it's i always good. pull cards for her too and <laughs> they be hidden bust <laughs> okay my favorite oracle deck is probably i don't know i've i've been really messing with oracle for like four or five years now so my first favorite deck is called um it's called mermaids and something oh uh, dolphins and mermaids oh, yeah dolphins and mermaids by during virtue that's one of my favorites because it was my first one. And my new favorite is probably the Starseed Oracle. By Rebecca Campbell. Yeah, by Rebecca Campbell. And yeah, those are my favorite. And our favorite tarot deck is definitely the Modern Witch. Um, Love that. I got that one for Christmas, but me and Diamond both use it very, very often. Artwork is also great. Chef's Kiss. And we'll put pictures of those right here so y'all can see what they look like if you are interested in them okay and then we got another question this one's kind of about us moving out for the first time mm -hmm. which oh. um me and i mean they get our first apartment about Together. a year and a half ago yeah which is where we're staying now but we're actually about to move out next month or in another month so but anyway so they asked what is the best way to move out or how to go about the process so mm -hmm. so from personal experience yeah um Shit, my personal experience was just our personal experience is really different because we moved out and then we got hit with the pandemic in the middle of moving out um like during our first what six months living here the That's, pandemic yeah. happened and we lost our job so it was really different from what i feel like the average person would go through yeah. but i would definitely say save 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 mm -hmm. like definitely say save your money because you never know what's gonna happen like literally yeah. we got caught off guard <laughs> and i would say honestly don't be in a rush wait and look around and find what find the perfect apartment for you find the perfect place for you because yeah because we, we settled rushed. yeah we kind of settled and i'm not saying these are the worst apartments but they're definitely not the best yeah but our next place we'll make it way more homier than we did we felt like we kind of just jumped in here and, and just was like whatever at the point at this point so yeah but yeah um our experience with moving out when i first moved out um i think my mom already knew i was gonna move out <laughs> she, i would always tell her like you know like i'm gonna move out at this age blah 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 and i didn't think she it was serious but she um what's it called she supported me and yeah she was crying when i left but it's okay because i see her like almost every day. every day i work with her <laughs> <laughs> so yeah but um the best best way to go about it overall is just save your money and weigh your options mm -hmm. do not rush into it do not settle for less and just take your time because if we would have took our time i feel like we would have been in a better position although we are very grateful for where we stay now like it's a it's a good apartment for what it is you know what i mean yeah and i know a lot of y'all uh, well not y'all i'm i don't want to assume <laughs> but um i know a lot of people like i know friends that were kind of scared to move out because they didn't know if their parents were going to support it or what they were going to say but if you're 18 and older then i would say just go for it i'm not telling you to be a rebel about it but it is your life and your experience and don't waste time living if you're in a bad situation don't waste time being miserable be happy and go for it you know because if you keep a positive mind and a positive mindset things are gonna come things are just gonna start folding into place place yeah, yeah so go for it <laughs>
All right, guys, so I think we're gonna close out this video. Don't forget your vibe attracts your tribe, and don't forget to subscribe. Guys, and leave us some comments down below to let us know what kind of content you wanna see next from us. And don't forget to hit that post notification button to get notified every time we post a brand new video. The food was fire, guys. Make sure y'all check out Bidia and Micheladas on Market Street. We're gonna leave them in the description below. Mm -hmm. And yeah, guys, let them know the Vibe Tribe sent you, okay? All right, thank you guys. Bye.